We seem to get two common questions when dealing with climbing roses here at Ashdown. The first one is this. I had a climbing rose, it bloomed really nicely, I pruned it, and this year it didn't bloom so well. My first question is always this, how hard did you prune it? And they'll say, oh, 24 inches or so. That's the problem. It's not that you pruned it, it's that you pruned the wrong canes. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is to, which canes to prune and which canes not to prune. The second question we get is something that you deal with all season long, is that the climber gets messy and gets out of control. You know what I'm talking about. You have a nice climber in the arbor, and in the springtime it's up against that arbor nice and neat and tidy, and then a little bit further along in the spring, out come those canes, and then out come those canes, and out come those canes, and the next thing you know it's reaching across the land, gathering in lawn furniture and small children in a barbecue, and that's what you have to deal with. Well, we're going to show you how to work with that rose all year long so that climber stays tidy throughout the entire season. So we'll start by first of all showing the difference between the two different types of canes. Let's look at the two different kinds of canes on a climbing rose. The first one we're going to call the main cane. That's this cane that we've laid up along the wire here. Just follow my finger. Okay, that cane goes all the way back to the base of the plant, and it, if not six inches from the base of the plant. And coming off the side, these pieces here, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. These are called laterals. So you have the main cane and you have laterals. Here is the key to dealing with climbers. You never want to prune the main cane hard, no more than one third. Because think of like a fruit tree. It needs its energy to grow, then it begins to bear fruit. It's the same with climbing roses. They need their energy to grow, then they begin to bear flowers. That's the reason why they don't bloom much in the first second year very often. So if you cut those main canes hard, the rose goes, okay, I'd like to flower, but now what I need to do is grow again. So it grows and doesn't flower. These laterals are the key to controlling and dealing with climbers. You can cut these all season long to within 12 inches of the main cane. It will not inhibit the flowering. In fact, it will actually encourage flowering. So just keep this in mind. Main canes don't cut. Laterals you can cut all season. Now that you know the difference between the main cane and the lateral, what we can do now is begin to get this rose under control while we're pruning it. So I'm going to take these laterals, like I said, within 12 to 14 inches of the main cane, I'm going to cut them away. I'm, not, I'm cutting above a bud eye, but not worrying about which way that bud eye is facing. As I was pruning laterals, I came across a problem here. We covered this in pillaring a rose, but I think it's important we go over it again here. What I've got is a main cane that suddenly has come to an end. I'm guessing it got chopped off, looks like it lost a fight with a lawnmower or something like that. So what I'm going to do is turn the main cane into a lateral and take one of its nice long laterals and turn it into the main cane. A little rose switcheroo is what we can call that. So we just go ahead and prune the, la the main cane back to about 14 inches of that junction. This is my new long lateral. I'm going to take it and just take it forward on the wire and it becomes the new main cane. It now has been promoted. I dub thee Sir Main Cane. Bless thee and all who bloom upon thee. Looks happier already, doesn't it? We're down here inside the base of the climber, and I want to show you a couple things. Here's the center where it's planted and where it's coming up from, and here are some of the canes that I've been working with in training. Now, what I have here also applies to bush roses that put up new canes from the base, which we talked about in the introduction to pruning video. You see this cane right here? It's got very little swiggly things coming up like this. Very little going on. In fact, it's probably even almost dead. This is where you have to be cruel to be kind with roses. Because I'm going to take this out completely. Because I want to clean this up in the middle here. I've got too much clutter. And the rose is putting its energy into this clutter and not doing me any good. I've also got one right here, if you've noticed right here. I'm going to take it out as well, completely at the base. By taking them out at the base, that will actually spur new growth from the very, very center of this plant. And believe it or not, I've even got one here. Take a look at this right here. It's been chopped off here at some point. I've got pieces going off in all different directions. They get thin and straggly up in here when it gets further along. This is just burning a lot of energy and not doing any good. And again, I'm going to take that out completely. So again, I realize this seems extreme, but this is an example of being cruel to be kind with roses. Cleaning out this base is going to spur nice, fresh shoots. And those fresh shoots are going to flower a lot more. Now, even with best laid plans, nature sometimes throws you a curveball, and I got one here. I was coming up trimming the laterals on this cane. I'm just about done with the laterals. I come to here, and I've got a break here. This looks like it could be snow damage, freeze damage. I don't know what it is. This has got to get out. It's going to be damaging to the rose. But again, we can work a little rose magic here. 
If I follow this cane back down to here, see my two laterals coming up here? And I've even got one on the underside. Remember when we promoted Sir Lateral? Well, we can even promote three Sir Laterals now and have the four musketeers if we want. I take all that off. That's radical, I realize, but that's got to go because my best growth is now here. Look at this. This is now a main cane. That's a beauty. I got two over here I can work with as well. Also beauties. So that's again, when nature throws you a curve, as long as you understand the difference between laterals and main canes, you can work with it. Now that the laterals are cut off, I'm just taking these main canes and just beginning to wrap them around the wire a little bit. Now as you can see, there's a lot less of this rose than there used to be, or that's what it appears to be, a lot less rose. It's not. It's actually the same amount of rose. But I've kicked in the main canes, left them long, and cut back my laterals. That's why it looks like there's less. These laterals that are beginning to break right here, these are going to become six, seven feet within three or four months even. And that's the key to keeping your climber tidy all season. You can take these laterals, like I said at the beginning, you can cut them back to six to eight inches, 14 inches or whatever within the main cane all season long. It's not a one-time event. Pruning season and you're done. You can do it all year. That's how you keep it tidy. And now that you know the difference between a main cane and a lateral, you can grab control of your climbers and keep them from basically sucking in the furniture. So all we're going to do now is basically take this and wrap it around. Notice too that I'm wrapping them horizontally as much as possible. Another thing I want to show you, leave you with here. The more horizontal a rose cane is, the more flowering. Because all of these eyes are going to break and that's where your flowers come from. So basically anywhere from here to here is good. You get up straight like that, no good. Come down to here, good, good, okay, okay. Ah, that's getting good, that's there, and that's really nice. So that's why I'm just taking them and wrapping them around this wire in a nice, easy fashion. So what I'm left now with is basically a simple structure of main canes. I'll do a little finishing and tying. But there's not much left. That's what I've got to work with. And I realize this now probably seems fairly simple, but that's the point. It is. Remember your main canes? Don't cut your main canes by more than a third, unless you're going to take it out at the base because it's old. Prune your laterals back all season long. That shows you the structure of the rows. You can tie that in, and now you've got control of your climbers.